What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to another episode of This Week in Gaming. I haven't done an episode of this in a couple weeks now, but today I want to talk about, you know, games that are coming out here next month, or end of this month, some things that are really, have been anticipated by the gaming community for a while now. And it's going to be one of those years where everything seems to come out within, you know, two or three weeks of each other. Uh, of course, new gen consoles are coming out, so it's going to be a pretty hectic year if you're a gaming fan. It's going to be a great year. Of course, it's going to be hectic for most of our, uh, most everyone's wallet because it's going to be a lot of stuff you have to buy. When it just comes to games in general, there's a lot of big name games coming out this fall. Uh, if you're a first person shooter fan, of course, you have things like Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops Cold War coming out in November. Uh, if you're a fan of those kind of cyber hacking games, uh, uh, a pretty decent game in my opinion. Uh, the first one, not so much, but Watch Dogs 2 was good. Watch Dogs Legion uh, has been anticipated by a lot, of, uh, a lot of people, and of course, it's coming out at the end of this month, and of course, it will be out on uh, next gen as well. Another game that a lot of people are looking forward to is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is probably the game that I'm the most excited for, to be honest. Uh, another game, of course, that a lot of people are looking forward to, the remake of Demon Souls, uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and of course, last but not least, Cyberpunk 2027. This is probably the most anticipated game by anybody. Uh, I know I'm looking forward to playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but I think the gaming community in general is really looking forward to Assassin, I mean, to uh, Cyberpunk 2027. Uh, Cyberpunk has been a game that it feels like it's been shown off and trailers have been shown for years now, almost like an eternity. The game has been delayed several times, but it looks like we're finally going to get it, of course, uh, at the kind of middle of November. Uh, CD Projekt, I'm not sure if they can pull off another great game like they did with The Witcher 3. It looks like they're going to. And this game kind of reminds me of, I don't know, a, a RPG open world style almost like GTA, I mean, it just seems like it's going to be a very crazy, chaotic, insane graphics, insane cutscene kind of game. Uh, it looks like it's going to be very enjoyable. And of course, it's going to be coming out on all platforms, old gen and new gen. So no matter really what you play on, you will be able to play this game. I think one of the biggest disappointments this year, of course, was uh, 343 saying that Halo Infinite will not be releasing with the new uh, Xbox Series S and X. I think that was a big disappointment for a lot of Xbox fans, a lot of people looking forward to playing Halo. But on the flip side of that, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, which is going to come to old gen and new gen, has got a lot of people's interest in the PS5 because it was shown off on the PS5 reveal, and a lot of people were really excited about it. Even though that it's coming to old gen, I still think it will pique some people's interest. Yes, it is a PS uh, or PlayStation exclusive. Yes, it will come to PS4 and PS5. But I think the graphics of the game, I think just the look of the game when they showed it off on PS5 has a lot of people excited to get new consoles. I know not everyone's going to buy new consoles now. They may wait. There's not tons of games coming out that are going to be, you know, just uh, made for, of course, new gen. Of course, we'll have to wait a couple of years for that. But I still, I still think a lot of people are excited about some of the games that Sony did announce that are going to be kind of, you know, just on the PlayStation. Another one, for example, of course, Demon's Souls. This was originally a PS3 game. And it looked like a totally different game when it was redone for the PlayStation 5. Um, I think when the PS5 launches, I think a lot of people will be picking this game up. It is a frustrating game to play. It, uh, of course, Bloodborne, Dark Souls, just in general, Bloodborne, they're all just kind of frustrating to play because you die a lot. But I will say the remake of Demon's Souls does look very good. And I was really interested to see all the graphical improvements, all the gameplay improvements they have made going forward with uh, you know, it coming out again on PS5. Like I said, the one game that I'm really looking forward to is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Over the years, to begin with, when Assassin's Creed first came out, I was really excited to play it. Over the years, some of them were, it kind of had their ups and downs. Uh, some of them I really liked, some of them I didn't. But when Odyssey was released a couple years ago, I really liked the idea of Odyssey kind of going to that RPG idea, or that RPG kind of realm with Assassin's Creed kind of together. And from everything that I have read, understood about Assassin's Creed Valhalla, they're pretty much going full RPG. Ubisoft has even talked about uh, their future plans for DLC. They're going to have a season pass, kind of like they did with Odyssey. They're also going to have free content to everyone that owns the game. And of course, this is going to be a Viking invasion of Britain in 873. And what more can you ask for than an Assassin's Creed game that's kind of tailored around Vikings, that's tailored around an RPG-style system? I think it's going to be really good. Um, of course, like I said, Watch Dogs uh, Legion is going to come out at the end of this month. It will be a game that's going to be, uh, of course, on old gen, then it's going to come out on uh, new generation consoles as well. 
Uh, it's kind of got a, a lot of people say this has got a different location, a different kind of tone to the game compared to Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a bigger hit than the first two, just kind of my initial guess. I don't know what it is, but something about that game does seem to me that it's going to be a little more popular than the first two were. And I don't know if it's just that the whole tone of the game has changed, but it does look like it's going to be a big hit. I know a lot of people are looking forward to playing it as well. And last but not least, like I said, if you're a fan of first-person shooters, we do have Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Of course, I have been talking about a lot of this here on the channel, playing the alphas, the betas. I am looking forward to the game. I know it's kind of a mixed bag of opinions when it comes to the community with Call of Duty year in and year out. But it is a game, of course, if you're a first-person shooter fan, a lot of people are looking forward to playing. And like I said kind of at the start, it's going to be a hard year on a lot of people's wallets. I mean, if you have kids, if you don't have children, if you like to play games, whatever the case may be, finding new consoles, purchasing all these games is going to be kind of expensive. I'm kind of curious what you guys are going to do. Are you going to be purchasing new consoles? Are you going to be purchasing all these games? Are you going to try to get just the ones you're really looking forward to? Like I said, it's going to be hard to get all of them, to get a new console, all that kind of stuff. But there's a lot of stuff to play this fall, and I think, like I said, it's a really good time to be a gamer because a lot of the big titles, a lot of things people have been looking forward to for the, the whole year are all going to be coming out pretty much within three weeks of each other. So let me know what you're looking forward to. I know, like I said, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, for some reason, out of all these games, is the one that I have definitely been looking forward to playing for a long time now since it was announced. Uh, but I know, like I said, Cyberpunk is probably the most anticipated game for on anyone's list. Just overall, like I said, it's a great time to be a fan of gaming. Uh, whether you like shooters, whether you like RPG style games, uh, whether you like single player games, no matter what the case may be, there's going to be something for everyone this fall. Like I said, plus you're going to have new consoles kind of stacked on top of that. Just be sure when you're purchasing all these games, just kind of quickly, uh, most of these games have free upgrades to next gen. If you're planning on buying a new console you know, within the next month or so or beginning of next year, just make sure whatever kind of edition you buy, whether it be disc or digital, does have an upgraded version. Like I said, majority of them are free. Some are not, so you need to look into that. But majority of these games you purchase, you can just kind of get an upgraded version for the next-gen console, which is a good thing to keep in mind. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Like I said, if you would like to leave a comment, I would love to hear what you guys are looking forward to playing this fall. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, they are the affiliate here on the channel. Of course, the community Discord and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.